So we've looked at uh, what organisms are made of. We also looked at what organisms require. Um, and now we're going to look at some of the ways um, or interactions that organism can, organisms can have. Okay, so we're going to look at how they behave, what are they doing, and why. Uh, there's basically two types of interactions that can occur. You can have what's called an interspecific interaction or an intraspecific interaction. An interspecific interaction is going to occur between members of different species. So uh, different kinds of things will interact. So example would be like a dog and a cat fighting over the same bowl of food. Or if you're a baseball fan, the Yankees versus the Mets or the Dodgers versus the Angels. Um, but basically, it's two different kinds of things um, interacting. An intraspecific interaction is going to be occurring between members of the same species. So for example, using the same kind of examples, if you have two dogs fighting over the same bowl of food, or if you have like the Yankees versus the Red Sox or the Dodgers versus the Padres, say if you're a baseball fan. So um, interspecific interactions occur between different species and cross-specific occur between the same species. Those are the general types of interactions that can occur. Um, underneath those kinds of interactions, you have all sorts of different, like, different kinds of interactions that can occur. So you can have like competition, predation, and then also symbiotic relationships. Um, competition occurs when creatures want, both want the same limited resource. Um, so for example, there's only so much food to go around. And so when you get two dogs or two cats fighting over the same bowl of food, they're competing for that limited resource for that food. Um, when we when we talk about these different interactions, um, we will use like a plus minus kind of denotation in order to understand what's going on in that relationship or that interaction. Um, and so in competition, you can have competition that's like plus minus or minus minus. Um, and what that means, the plus means that something is, one of the animals is gaining or benefiting and the other is being harmed. So for example, let's say you have um, a dog and a cat fighting over a bowl of food. Let's say the dog wins and the cat, you know, gets chased off. That's beneficial for the dog because he gets that limited resource, gets the food, so it's indicated as a plus. But it's bad for the cat because he misses out on that opportunity for food and now has to go find other food. So it's negative for the cat. So it's a plus minus type of relationship. In um, in the same example, let's say you have a dog and a cat that are fighting over the same bowl of food. Um, and while they fight, okay, um, another dog comes and steals that bowl of food. Uh, in that interaction, neither of them gain. So that's indicated as a minus minus um, for that interaction. So that would be an example of competition. In predation, you get one animal eating another. Um, we indicate that as plus minus because one benefits and one's harm. Uh, so like when a killer whale eats a sea lion, I mean, that's a good day for the killer whale because it's a get, it gets food, but it's a pretty bad day for the sea lion because it dies. So it's no longer with us. Um, and so predation is indicated as plus minus. That's another type of interaction that can occur. You also get symbiotic relationships. Um, symbiotic relationships are long-term relationships between organisms when at least one of those individuals benefits. So you have mutualism, which is a type of symbiotic relationship. Um, and mutualism will be denotated as plus plus, um, because in a mutualistic relationship, both organisms benefit. In commensalism, type of symbiotic relationship, we indicate that as plus zero, um, because one of the organisms benefits and one is neutral. And then in parasitism, we indicate that as plus minus, because one benefits and one is harmed. So let's look at these different kinds of interactions with some examples to help you see. So in competition, okay, um, you have, it's either plus minus or minus minus. Um, so you can see uh, on the upper left, you have two elephant seals competing for a mate. Um, and so they'll fight for a mate and that could be plus minus because one will win and one will lose, one will get the mate and one won't. Um, and then, so it'll, it'll be plus minus. Predation will be plus minus as well. Um, and so you can see on the upper right here, this is a picture of sea stars eating a mussel. 
So it's a benefit for the teeth, uh, teeth there because it gets food. It's bad for the muscle because it you know, gets eaten and dies. A mutualism type of symbiotic relationship, that's plus plus, that's where both benefit. Um, you have a hermit crab and an anemone, and then you also have like cleaner fish and the fish that's getting cleaned. So this picture on the upper right, um, the striped fish is the cleaner fish, and then it's cleaning parasites off of the bigger fish. The bigger fish benefits because it gets all its parasites taken off, and the cleaner fish benefits because it gets a meal. Um, so they both benefit, so it's indicated as plus plus. Commensalism is when you have um, one benefiting and one is neutral. So in the upper left right here, you have a whale shark, and then if you see um, right here, you have a little remora fish, which is attached to it. The whale shark doesn't get any sort of benefit from having that um, remora fish there. It's also not harmed by the remora fish. So because the whale shark is neutral, we say it's zero, but the remora fish gets benefited from this relationship because it can actually attach to that whale shark using some specialized fins, um, and it gets a free ride. So it can just kind of like hang on, chill, and it'll go wherever the whale shark goes without having to expend any energy. So it's commensalism, whale shark's neutral, and the remora fish benefit. And parasitism, um, that's plus minus, because one organism benefits and one is harmed. So like the marine leech would be an example, um, like down here on the bottom right. Uh, you get a fish that has a parasite on it. Um, the fish gets harmed because it's getting blood and stuff sucked out of its body, whereas the parasite benefits because it's getting nutrients from the blood that it's taking from the host. So it is a plus minus relationship. So all of these are different kinds of interactions that can occur between organisms, either between organisms of different species or same spe or the same species. Um, and all of these different interactions uh, will explain like pretty much all of the behavior that you see um, organisms doing. So the reason why we have to look at this is to look at what animals are doing and why they're doing it so that we can fully understand the living things that we are studying.